protesters clashed with police outside the governor's mansion in Puerto Rico, word that search warrants were being issued for the phones of government officials. CBS News correspondent David Begno is live tonight in San Juan. And David, let's begin there. What do you know about these search warrants and what's the reaction to them? Well, listen, most people aren't really reacting to it because they are so focused on getting the governor to resign that anything that is unrelated to his immediate removal is sort of on the back burner. But here's what we know. The island's Department of Justice confirms that a judge issued search warrants. That means the governor's cell phone will be seized along with 11 other individuals who are part of the now well-known Ricky Chats. Beyond that, Elliot, that's all we know. And David, Puerto Rico's governor issued another statement today. How is that being received? Uh, not well. He essentially said, I hear you, I see what you're doing, but I'm hanging out. I'm staying around. Uh, listen, it is incredible, Rudy, to watch the people. This is ground zero, right? To watch the people who are here protesting. Listen to what that man says. It is like pouring fuel on an open flame. The governor came out today and said, listen, I'm really going to make no other statements about these demonstrations. The next time you'll hear from me will be related to regular government matters. Well, I got to tell you, this is the 11th straight day that people have demonstrated in front of the governor's mansion. And I want to point out for you the people who are actually standing on those barricades right there. Look how young they are, right? This movement is being led by millennials, and they're not here with their parents. They are here by themselves night after night. I have never come a protest where so many young people were on the front lines of the movement for a revolution, as they are calling it here. You can see it's quite a crowd there in Old San Juan. David, talk to us about what you saw last night. Well, last night was interesting because, you know, the entire day was peaceful, right? So they closed down that major expressway that connects San Juan to every other part of the island. And so protesters moved here toward the evening and they packed this very narrow street right in front of the Fortaleza. And right about 11 o'clock, there were, there were plastic water bottles being thrown at police and police used tear gas. And I got to tell you, Elliot, last night was really the most chaotic nights of all. Police at one point uh, threw tear gas toward the crowd and they hit a vehicle and the vehicle caught fire. And I interviewed the man who owned that car and he said, if my car was a casualty for the cause, it was well worth it. Uh, David Begno, nobody has done a better job of covering the story than you have. Thank you very much uh, for joining us live from San Juan and look for much more.